Hello, High School Africa. Now we have Ya Asantua Girls. Dear High Schools Africa, standing before you today is obviously the main head girl of Yas and Twagel Senior High School and the local SRC president. I am De Gerdi Banot. You might as well call me Honorable. Well, recently we received an information of an amount of 10,000 Ghana cities that will be given to any school that will bring up the perfect idea worth this amount. Well, me and my executive didn't want to be left out. So we thought round the clock and we brought up this perfect idea. Well, guess what? Have you ever thought of owning your own pond? Or have you ever thought of harvesting your own fish without going to the cold store or the seaside? Well, then guess what? We brought up the idea of aquaculture. Familiar, right? Aquaculture is the rearing of fish and the growing of crops at the same time. Well, aquaculture is one of the lucrative businesses in the entire world today. For a better understanding of this project into detail, I will call upon my SRC Vice President who doubles as the project manager to give us a detailed explanation of this project. Thank you very much, Honorable. I go by the name Abigail Nimakuba. Now let's delve deeper into what aquaculture actually entails. When we talk of aquaculture, it is the rearing of fish and growing of plants alongside Aquaculture has enormous benefits, of which some include income generating venture, educational purposes, career options, and can also serve as a source of hobby or leisure. For this project, we will be needing some materials. We will need a tilapia tank, catfish tank, biological and mechanical filters, catfish finger links, tilapia finger links, air pump, water pump, box liner, gravels and lettuce seed. We'll be needing two separate tanks for this project. We will rare 1,400 fishes, 700 tilapia and 700 catfish. This project is a six month cycle. At the end of the six months for catfish, the average weight is one kg. On the market, one kg of fish is sold for 12 cities. Presuming 100 of our fishes die and we are left with 600. That means we will multiply the 12 by 600. At the end of the six months, we are getting some good 7,200 cities. For tilapia also, three of them make one kg. One kg on the market for tilapia is 20 cities. So we'll divide 600 by three and then multiply it by 20. At the end of the six months for tilapia, we are getting 4,000 Ghana cities. Our total sales at the end of the six months is going to be the 7,200 cities generated from catfish and the 4,000 from tilapia. That is, at the end of the six months, we are getting 11,200 cities from aquaponics. Since it's aquaculture, while we are rearing our fish, we are growing our crops alongside. The crops that will be used in this project will include lettuce and spring onions. For lettuce, it's in the form of a seed. So for the first three months, we would have to nurse it in a propagating media. Some of the advantages of this propagating media is to ensure that the plants do not contract any form of diseases and also help it to grow faster. We'll be growing 700 lettuce and 700 spring onions. We are going to make use of two filters, that is the biological filter and the mechanical filter. The mechanical filter is to filter the solids from the water, while the biological filter converts the ammonia in the fish water into nitrates, that is a form that can be absorbed by the plants to grow well. Okay, so this is the budget of the project we intend to embark on. The total is 9,470 cities. Yes, so as you can see, we have the catfish container, which is 850 cities. We will need one. Tilapia container, 850 cities. We will need one. Catfish fingerlings, each cost 50 pesos. We are buying 700, and so the total is 350 cities. Tilapia fingerlings is one city, 50 pesos. We are buying 700, and that is 1,050. We are buying an air pump, which is 400 cities. We will need one. Water pump, which is also 400 cities. 
has fish feed is 300 cities and we'll be needing three of it so the total is also 900 um tilapia feed is 480 cities who buy four of it and then the total is giving us 1920 cities we would also need gravels which would cost 800 cities let's use seed is 10 cities and we need just one who buy spring onions 40 cities box liner costs 700 cities gravel bed is also 700 cities filter is 400 cities and then miscellaneous is 400 cities thank you thank you honorable abigail so having been enlightened on the whole project let us see how we are going to achieve our objectives based on these criteria firstly we have changed the school physically we also have benefit the administration we also have benefit the student body and lastly benefit the school labor force so how will the school benefit physically the school's administration will use parts of the profits as internally generated funds to support school projects such as painting of the school, sick bay operations, the school's laboratories, and to attend to other immediate needs of the school whenever they pop up. Again, how will the students benefit from this project? Some of the vegetables will be used to improve upon the diets of the students at the dining hall and I'll ensure that no students will ever miss dining. Again, this aquaculture project will be used for educational purposes, that is our practical sections. Again, it will enhance the interest of students to pursue careers in agriculture and lastly, it will help us get a hobby in agriculture. Lastly, how will the school's labor force benefit from this project? Part of the profits that will be obtained will be used as insurance to cater for emergencies from the school's labor force. Well, all too soon, we have come to the end of the whole project. Once again, I am Dave Gerdy Vanot, the head girl of Yaa Santua Girls Senior High School. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, wow. Thank you. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Wow. Great. We got competitors for Wow. Serious. So Serious. this Serious. this is a wow. different um, whole different level. Like I understood everything from A to Z. You don't need questions. No. Everything no. is clear. She broke it down. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. And I think this lady exhibited some leadership skill that yeah. I also love. The fact that mm. she even has a project manager for what they're gonna do, which mm. is the assistant. And now we came back for her to go. Wow, that's, that's wow. Hmm. Uh, um, wow. Were they to allow the deputy head to talk? You know, um, again, it, it's it's dears. You know, for the I think that's why she was creative enough to present it in this way. Which is, um, imagine, I think one of the schools. What we rather saw was the the assistant who was doing the presentation, yes. and he came in to only introduce. But for this, you can see that the project is actually on hair. Mm -hmm. But I have needs, just uh -huh, some uh -huh, attributed yes, some yeah. work to this person. And like he, she didn't see everything. Did yeah, 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 yeah. He allowed the assistants to talk about some things when he is doing the presentation. Yeah. So she to allow the assistant to yeah. bring in some aspects yeah. as she presents. And she yes, came in to give... To get only one winner, right? Only one winner. Oh yeah, like only yeah, one so, school, yeah. So a lot of things should be taken into consideration. Mm. Did you give them time? Time limits? So that, that was what we didn't give them, yeah. So okay. that's how come some have about 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Two, yeah. Hopefully the next one, they will be given all these limits, like yeah, so this should time. Be able to present within a certain mm. time yeah. frame. Yeah. Maybe four minutes, yeah. two minutes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, this with clarity it's i think it's one school that really for me got it mm. yeah i got the full map because i could clearly understand them from beginning to the very end yes yeah most of the questions that i asked was i was watching got answered so nothing in my head was just suspended like mm. i had answers to most of the questions and then that's I think that that's brilliant. They did well with that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. same with me. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of research went into it mm -hmm. to have mm -hmm. known the specific cost of certain um, elements mm -hmm. and items that is stated. 
they actually went to the market yes. Yes. They wanted to find out everything, everything about the project they yeah. want to embark on. Yeah. And I think it's real. It means they are really ready to work. They're ready to work. And, and I can feel it's really coming from them. Mm. Yes. Yes. Um, mm. And they, they are excited they, about they the project. The project. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the word. They are able to tell really how know. sustainable it will be. Sure. The relevance mm. clearly spelled out yeah. to, the benefit, to the various to the uh, stakeholders. Everybody will benefit. Eco friendly, sustainable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I made the best win, but this this is definitely among the best. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see.